American Truck Sim. Today, we need to continue with New Mexico because Oregon is so close now. We can s honestly, Oregon is coming close now. It's about a month or so since. I'm guessing this is going to be about March, early March for Oregon. I'm not 100% sure of that yet. It could be April, it could be May for all I know. But we'll just, uh, we'll wait and see. Today I've come to the, I've got a few things to talk about today as well regarding the weekend videos as well. I am a little bit annoyed, so if you don't want to see me rant, get, just go away just now because <laughs> I am a little bit annoyed right now, so, <laughs> well not annoyed now, I was at the weekend by what happened to this. So I will, um, should we update, up, update, upgrade the tank a little bit, look at that, 150 extra for extra fuel. I'll take that. Transmission. Should we take an extra transmission? Should we go for like a a cat 350? Hmm. Nah, let's just stick with the original. I am gonna take the Christmas tree out before you ask. Uh we'll stick with the the one that we had. Ten speed. Actually, should we go twelve? That would only cost an extra little bit. Yeah, let's go twelve. Let's let's give it a go. Standard, nothing to change at all. I will be taking these out, because they're scumbags. Anything else to change? That we need to change. I think the lights were all good the last time. I think everything... Oh, a dash cam. Oh, we already had that. Cool. Um. Yeah, we want to take this out. So we'll take this out. You know, you any idea how glad I am to know that it's like 300 odd days to Christmas? <sighs> that's that's a nice time. I like that. What are we gonna have? Are we gonna have like a a, a companion this time? Let's go through the companion, shall we? I can't. What the heck is she reading? Nutuk. You're all right. Ben Kenobi. We can go for him if we want. C three PO. He just looks like he doesn't even know why he's here. It's like he's been placed into a truck. It's like, why am I in the 21st century? Like, come on, I should be in like... I don't even know when uh, Star Wars days was. Why is it all Star Wars characters? That's the guy out of Life for Dead, Left for Dead. World of the Trucks guy. Hello. Oh yeah, this thing, this bug where I actually went round here once. Oh god, no. Do not do that to me again, game. Because you can never get out. You're like, what the hell is happening? Can I get back to the... Hello? Okay, I'll do it here then. Fair enough. Never done it back here before. Dashboard accessories. We can keep a tin of coke. I'd rather put a tin of coke on this side. Take that out. Uh, you know what? I might celebrate. Uh, you know what? Let's do something different. I'm brew for the lols. Uh, what else can we have? Is there something from the Super Bowl? Oh, hello. I might have that instead then. Lol. Okay. Uh. Well, I don't even know what we can have. An Android toy or more of an Apple guy, but. ATS women walking down the street. Calculator, we can do some maths while we're waiting. Rubik's Cube. Map, in case we get lost, why not? We've got a sat nav, you know. Keychain. Yeah, good idea. Picture frame. Hmm. Darth Vader, lightsaber, Garfield, <gasps> we've got to have a Garfield, Mario Brothers and Luigi, that's got to happen, I'm sorry that's got to happen, I'm going to replace the minion with a Wonder Bomb, air freshener, and I'm going to replace this with, for a, what was it again, oh wait a minute, wasn't there like a, a Wally, like there was like a Wally somewhere, Oh god, no, 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 no. Yeah, I remember there's like a Wally -E on here. There we go, got it. So if we just have that, actually, let's do Wally -E there. And then we'll have. Stop! Okay, there we go. And then we'll have Iron Brew. There we go, cool. And then we can have. Well, we're gonna change this, weren't we? To. Hmm, Spongebob? He lives in a pineapple under the sea. We can get him if we want. 
Have one dangling near our eyes. Let's have a big, big black dice. Oh, that's cool. I might have one of these. No, they're too small. Oh, that's cool. I want that. We've got to have that. Anything we can have down here? Wait, what? We can have a Coca-Cola can here. Are you serious? An Android toy. Meh. Nest Cafe. Oh, that's got to happen. Nest Cafe. And, um... I've never actually done the knitting basket before, and I, I quite I find it quite funny. So let's go knitting basket. There's a lot of areas to put stuff down. That's what I like about this. Uh, we can also have. What else can we have? See, he's just trying to scroll through this. Is the hard thing. A wind turbine. You want me? A BB-8. A Fallout 4 bobblehead. <gasps> a Buzz Lightyear. A TARDIS. A toy du What? That's so random. A trophy cup. You know what? I might have that. The thing that I never had. Lightning McQueen? Nah. You're alright. And then we can have trucks. Is there not a freight liner? Scumbag game. Renault Magnum. Yeah, right then. A robot Santa. Lol. A tablet GPS, a tugboat. The heck? A Microsoft Surface Pro, you know what? Let's have it. Is this a drinks holder? So if we have like uh I don't know, a sprite. Perfect I like that. That's gonna cost sixteen grand for all that stuff. Confirm order. Nice. It's pretty cool that actually. Uh, you want me? Oh god, I forgot to start on my Logitech profiler. Oh, the blooming professionalism real. Look at this professionalism, guys. Look at this amazing professionalism that you got here. It's awesome, ain't it? Watch my wheel spin. My, my, uh, what you call it? My excuse is that it helps you understand how to, how it works. So if you've never seen it before, this is how it works. That, that perfect excuse. Embrace myself for the rant that I'm going to have this episode. Not going to be a good rant, unfortunately. If you're in need of happiness and cheering up, then you might not want to watch this video. Because that's exactly where I am right now. Rant. <laughs> rant heaven. Right. We can move! Brilliant! C1? What the heck does that mean? What does C1 mean? C1 rotate? What the hell? Okay then, fair enough. Right, I'm not exactly sure. Why is it saying I've got 713 miles to go? I'm not, I'm not taking a job that's 713 miles away, mate. No way. What? No. I don't think so. Nope, 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 nope. I'd like to go further into New Mexico if that's possible. We can go into Hobbs, you know. Boring trailers. I need to get mods. Wow, we can take six grand to Hobbs, or we can take ten grand to Hobbs. Look at that, ten grand, or six grand. It's a no-brainer, ain't it? Let's take the one to Hobbs. It reminds me of Hobnobs so much. I don't know why, it just reminds me of hobnobs. Anything coming? No. Cool. Get on the road then. I'll pick up the trailer and I'll discuss why the video, let's say, I, I, won't, ex I won't spoil it yet for later on, but I will explain why the video didn't work very well or why I didn't put the video out. It's turned right on red, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. Whoa. Okay, let's maybe turn right on red if this works. There we go. Okay, so the trailer's about two kilometers away, so we'll just go and pick that up. I feel like my graphics quality is significantly low. 
Like, I've not changed my graphics quality a lot, so... Mmm, it's fine. It just looks a bit low outside, that's a problem. Hmm, it's fine. No need to worry. Okay. I really hope this green light will not change. Oh, you absolute troll of game. Does anybody g remember the game 18 Wheels of Steel? If if you if you have never seen the game 18 Wheels of Steel, it, I w I'm not going to say buy the game. Just wait till Steam sale and you'll probably get in an SCS bundle with the Euro Truck and stuff. But just go and play that game for an hour. Honestly, the difference between this because there's a American long haul one, and the difference between this. Just looking at this, and the one, the 18 Wheels of Steel game from 11 years ago. Yes, 11 years ago that game was released. My god. That was a long time ago. But yeah, the difference in graphics is insane. Gaming has come a long way in seven, um, 11 years. For the better. Though, I think. Some people think that retro games are better than the normal games, uh, the nowaday games. No magic, just science. It's a bit further than three kilometers away, mate, ain't it? Feels like it's a blimmin', I don't know, a marathon to get there. Okay. And I remember 18 Wheels of Steel was my first ever simulation game I played. I actually played it on one of my old laptops, I remember. And I remember playing it and loved the game. I loved the game. I played I was I binge played the game. I enjoyed it that much. How much fuel are we on? That's fine. I'm gonna take a shortcut through the fuel station for the lols. As if you'd do this in real life though. That was a better option. I didn't have to stop at traffic lights. What a great way to not stop at traffic lights, to go through that way. When do we need to rest? Eh, uh, ten hours, it's fine. Wow, why is the limit still 35? Oh god, rip! Thank you. I'll just go in here. It's fine. Just like, act like nothing ever happened, okay? Enter. Freight market. So we are taking furniture 15 tons to Hobbs. I wonder what sofa company that's from. Can we change the trailer, please? We can change it from... Oh, combined trailer. Do you want to go for a challenge or do you want to go for a long trailer? We can go double trailer if you want. It'd be a challenge. Yeah, let's go double. You know what? I want to go double. To Hobbs. Let's do it. Why not? And again, I will warn you, the rant I'm going to talk about today is quite, let's say, aggression. <laughs> nah, I'm kidding. It's, it is a little bit, a little bit annoying, so I will talk in a weird tone. It will start off very, very soothing, and then it will start to will start to build up to that annoyance, tension. Okay, come on, hit the kingpin, seriously. Thank you. Teton. A couple. So, we are taking this monster today. This monster double trailer. With a companion and a truck, Ellis. This, this mouse is doing my head in. Big companion guy. Let's go. Ready? Okay, let's go. Uh, we should probably plan a route because it is New Mexico. And we've not really discovered this area yet. So, the route is basically along past Alamogordo. Is, do we need to nip into Alamogordo? I might nip in that way just for the lols. For no reason. Artesia? Do we need to nip into Artesia? No. I don't think so. We just pass it, I think. 
How long is it that way compared to the other way? I mean, uh, th that's picking up an extra city then, but then it's not. P we can get that on the way out as well. So, I mean, it doesn't really matter, really, does it? So, we'll just go the normal route. There's nothing apart from that little change in Artesia. Eh, Alamogordo, sorry. I think we're pretty much ready to go. Apart from that. Wow, what is with the lag? What is that frame rate? Jeez, what just happened? Like seriously, my frame rate just dropped. I'm not even sure how. What the heck? I'm not even sure how my frame rate just dropped. Like when I tried to, t it's really slow as well. Look at that. Look at that, I don't get that. Okay, what I might need to do is restart the game. Actually, wait a minute. Is it going to work if I just go to the map again? Because that's odd. I don't I don't know what had just happened. Like, everything's just went really, really slow. And I have no idea why. Like, everything's just... I don't know what's wrong with it. End game. And give me FPS kind of top left. Everything's just went slow. What the heck's wrong with this? Oh, it didn't even add it, you scumbag of a game. Okay, I'm gonna have to restart. No, no, write the thing. Do the right thing, seriously. Right, load game. Um, I need to save it. I don't know what just happened, but everything just froze. Everything's just gone really slow. I'm gonna have to exit the game. <sighs> the annoyance. <laughs> okay. Sorry you have to witness this, guys. Sorry you have to witness this. This annoying thing this game does. Actually, there is something that I did uh, did install that you might have not seen yet, it's Razer Cortex and it basically improves your frame rate by between 10 to 15 FPS and it kind of helps a little bit in fact. So I'll show you it in a minute, um, when it loads that is. Come on, that'd be great today. I want it loaded today, that preferably. Thank you. I'll just show you, this is my excuse again. Come on. Oh yeah, guys, if you've not downloaded a certain app on your uh, phone yet, I'd say recommend that you do it. If you do a lot of walking like I do, then download this app here called Sweatcoin. That you can get it on the App Store or Google Play. I've got 1151 Sweatcoin so far. <laughs> well, I've bought a few gift, gift cards from Steam so far, and, I mean, come on. A £20 gift card from Steam, like, I mean, why not? Okay, so what it does is it basically eliminates your RAM a little bit and it kind of drops it down so it optimises stuff so it, it loads a little bit better if, if as it were. I want to make sure my recording is still working though. Yeah, it's still working because sometimes it did do it once where it did uh, turn off the recording completely. And that wasn't a good idea, was it? Can I get onto the Steam thing please? I don't want the FPS counter at top left all the time. Thank you. Uh, that would be settings and game, and we will go off. Hopefully it works this time. If it doesn't, then I don't know what I'm gonna do. To be honest, obviously my game's broken then, or my PC is in need of a reboot or something. Come on, game. That's better. That's much better. I think the game just needed a restart. That was it. I'm not exactly 100% sure what just happened there, but... Oh, come on, game. Maybe the Razer Cortex thing fixed it, because the frame rate does seem smoother, even before it... Oh, God, and jackknifing. 
Mate, can you not? Please, can you just help me a little bit? Seriously, truckers are supposed to help each other, and you're just being a scumbag. <laughs> Lol. Okay, so we plotted a route, so we're basically ready to go. Back to what I was at before. So, you may or you may have not noticed that I did post it on Twitter that one of my videos on Saturday, or my video on Saturday, got uh, copyrighted. Uh, basically, uh, copyrighted, I mean, I mean demonetized. It wasn't really demonetized, it was just saying unsuitable for most advertisers. And it basically said, uh, you basically don't have family friendly content in your videos. And I was like, what? This is The Sims 4, a family, family friendly game. I do not swear in my videos. I do not do anything of a sexual nature in my videos. I don't get what they're trying to say. And I went on, I looked at the person who's claiming it, and I went on to Google, and it's one of these people who are just making sounds that sound the same in game. So for example, aircraft sounds. Squirrel got a, co a t copyright strike on an aircraft sound uh, a few few months back. I think it was about six months back. And it basically takes a sample of that aircraft sound. And then whenever anybody plays explain, it types an explain into the Google search or into YouTube search or whatever. And it comes up uh, that video. And he'll be like, nope, I've already copyrighted that. And what YouTube has essentially done is they've sent out these bots say, um, to say, you go there, you go on this side of YouTube, you go on this side of YouTube and uh, deal with that, the copyright strike uh, side. They think, Google comes out with these amazing ideas that they think so amazing and they say, hey guys, we're going to send out to this, um, and we're going to send out all these bots so that everybody can be safe again on YouTube. Nah, you just make it a hundred times worse with your stupid bots, don't you? And I'm using the word stupid because they are really stupid. The bots are so dumb because the bots, when when two sounds uh, connect, that aircraft sound in explain connects to that uh, guy's claim that he's already had a sample of. The bot basically is like, oh, that's that's got to be uh, his content. Uh, that's definitely got to be his content. So who at Google thinks that that's such a good idea? I mean, come on. Come on, Google. Seriously, if anybody from Google's watching this video, seriously, come on. Stop being lazy, for God's sake. Now, I'm going to get into the serious part now. Now, you may think, oh, I'm a small channel. Copyright strikes don't matter. They do. They do. They honestly do. I didn't get a copyright strike. I got a copyright claim. But it's just, I don't get why this is happening. If you've been affected, if you're a bigger YouTuber, and I I've, I really do apologise if you have been affected by the ad apocalypse thing. Uh, the ad apocalypse thing is basically something that continuously happens. The reason it's called ad apocalypse is because it continuously happens. It keeps going. It's like an apocalypse. It continues to happen. And ad apocalypse is just happening all over time. It started in like 2014 or 15 and it slowly started to come into nature and now it's like this big massive thing on a peak in 2018. And that's basically where we're at with uh, YouTube uh, copyright strike, copyright stuff. The ad demonetizing thing, the ad apocalypse crap. So, yeah. I don't really want to say much about what I think they should do, but I really think it should be fixed. And I think YouTube is a, a, going to be a dead platform in two years' time if, if they don't fix it. Some people might believe otherwise, but I do believe that YouTube will be a dead platform in two years' time. It won't. Be, it'll be a declining platform. And what does that mean? What do I mean by a declining platform? It basically means people stop using it and it goes downhill. Where are we now? I don't even know. I think we're heading towards a... Uh, what is it? Alamogardo or something? But yeah, I think I think YouTube can be fixed. That's the thing. And if you're sitting at home thinking, Oh, I only watch videos. And I'm sure a 
large amount of you don't even do YouTube. I'm sure the um, large amount of you that are watching this video, probably about 95% of you just watch YouTube and don't even do any videos. I've never probably even done a video. You might have tried to do a video and then you thought maybe, nah, this is not for me. Fair enough. I mean, it is what it is. But, you may think this this is all going in the background. You probably don't even know about it that much uh, because it's something that is just going on in the background and nobody's doing anything about it. And that's basically where, it, where we're at. And it's really important that a lot of people know about this. Because the more people that tweet to Google saying, this is a bad idea, this is a really bad idea, no matter what people do, Google just doesn't listen. It's like they don't listen to their YouTubers that are doing videos. YouTube is the strongest platform that Google's got. YouTube is probably the strongest service that Google's ever had. And they're just not, they just don't want to save it. I don't get why. Have they got something on going on in the background? No, because they're busy making their Pixel phones. But yeah, apart from the Google search engine, it's the second most uh, viewed website in the world. So I don't get why they don't want to save it. It's, it can be hard, surely. Just get a, a team of guys, like 100 or 200 guys, down at Google. That won't be a problem for Google to get that. No way. Come on, they've got thousands, tens of thousands of employees at Google. Just get that and then that'll be fine. And then just get them to work on the YouTube side. There's got to be a YouTube team down at Google, surely. Got to be some YouTube team down at Google. And like I said, if you, if you do watch YouTube, um, you will get affected. You will get affected. If you only watch YouTube and you don't upload videos, you will get affected at some point. Because the YouTubers that you watch and you subscribe to, for example, I love Squirrel. He is one of my favourite uh, YouTubers of all time. I have watched him since 2012 and I probably always will watch him. I watched Squirrel on YouTube from 2012 to 2015 and I watched Squirrel on Twitch from 2015 to now and it's one of my favourite pastimes. I'm not even joking. I mean, it's just something that I love to do and it's something that I probably always will continue doing as long as he continues to do it. That, that's, that's basically it. Nothing more that can be said. Welcome to Alamogordo. Nice. New Mexico loans. Brilliant. I see we've got a lot of... Let's take a photo. I'm going to take a photo today. But yeah, like I say... If you are somebody... that, is, Like I say, Squirrel. If Squirrel... Let's say I was never doing YouTube and I've never got affected. I'm not really affected by it anyway, but let's say I, I watched Squirrel. I'd never done YouTube in my life. I've maybe done a FIFA video in the past. Uh, 11 second FIFA video of my favourite Wayne Rooney strike. And I basically... Uh, that's all I've done. And I never ever got affected by that ad apocalypse or ad de revenue thing. Well, and it could be by next year that Squirrel could have moved on because of the ad apocalypse thing, and he doesn't like he doesn't like it. So if your YouTuber basically moves from because of the ad apocalypse thing, you like that YouTuber so much that you move to a different platform. For example, if he moved to Twitch. Um, I'd be happy if he streamed on Twitch um, all the time. Like, he does YouTube videos a lot. Uh, well, he's not done a lot in the last couple of weeks, but that's because his uh, personal problems and stuff. I won't go into details. I'll let him do that himself. But if Squirrel was to move to Twitch, I would move to Twitch because it's something. it just eliminates the odds, basically. It eliminates the YouTube side. And I know, basically, now, that if Squirrel moved from... YouTube to Twitch and done videos on Twitch. He still streams on Twitch, but if he does uh, YouTube, if he does videos on Twitch, I would move to Twitch because I know the problems he's going through. I don't even blame him to be honest. It's probably the right decision to start with. But yeah, that's where it where it's basically at. Some people just really don't know what it is. Because if your YouTuber moves, you might need to move as well. That's the problem. And soon enough, maybe some. Maybe most YouTubers, half the YouTubers here, that have moved. PewDiePie could move. 
I mean, come on. Do you think, well, I don't think PewDiePie will move. Google pay him millions to stay a year. I think it's something like 13 million pounds a year. I'm like, what? Like, come on. Do you remember that thing that PewDiePie done? That it basically said, I'm gonna quit. I'm gonna delete my channel at 50 million subs. Sorry, guys. We're we're basically not. We're, I'm not gonna be doing any videos anymore on this channel. That was his second channel that he deleted. You know what that is? That's a publicity stunt. And what he did there was basically trying to get more subs. Fair enough. But do you really think Google would have let PewDiePie go that easily? I don't think so. Because he's the heart of YouTube. And over six, almost 60 million people watch him. I've subscribed to him. Probably multiple accounts. Wouldn't be too surprised. But yeah, a lot of people have subscribed to him. It's just something that comes, something that PewDiePie does that attracts people to his channel. And if your friend tells PewDiePie, if your friend tells you about PewDiePie, you could move, you can go over. It's just a linking thing, really, ain't it? It's just this links, this links, this links. It's it's it, YouTube is just YouTube. It's it's something that people just don't understand until you do it. But yeah, I'm moving on to the next topic as well. How hard can YouTube be? I get I've I've gotten a few questions in the comment section over the last month or so. Can you talk about how you, your experiences in YouTube so far, and how you? Well, I kind of did talk about that in the February vlog, but I will talk about it briefly. There will always be nerves. There will always be nerves, like I say, and uh, nobody's ever not going to get nerves when starting YouTube. It's it's natural. It's good not to have nerves, but I mean, oh god, this is heavy. How how heavy is this? Sixteen tons. Should bring a train up here. The train trailer. I always like this camera here. That one here. I always like it. I don't know why. I've always liked this camera. Come on. Ah, it was on C1. It's fine. Okay, right, I think we're getting up to speed now again. But yeah, like I say, you'll always have nerves to start with and just go for it. Don't don't question yourself. Like there's no point questioning yourself on anything like that. I mean if you start questioning yourself, you're just gonna not do it, are you? Like I mean just do a video, upload it, people watch it, great. People don't watch it, that's the most likely scenario. I mean it's taken me 14 months to get to 100 subs. I mean, it's a big achievement for me. Some people may uh, think that that's not a big achievement and 100 subs is just 100 subs. Like, come on, you've got 100 people watching you. But yeah, 100 people watching me. Well, that have watched me and pressed the subscribe button. Come on, it's not, it's not something that comes around every day, is it? But yes, it's not going to get TV rating views, is it? But... It is su a start. Your first hundred subs is always the hardest, so I am pretty hard. To, it, I'm pretty happy to say that. 